So here at the Station 22, we've been working on the monitors. We've been having a problem with getting them to communicate with the ProRay Guardian system um, and trying to get them all to link up and communicate. And we've been working on it, doing multiple tests to figure out how to fix this issue. And we think we've come up with a way to get this all communicating pretty much the first go every time. So first thing we're gonna do, we're obviously gonna turn all of our monitors on, our equipment on and get it set up when we start. When we turn everything on, especially with this, we're gonna start with this ray link. We're gonna make sure that this is in host and we shouldn't change it. We're gonna get this cable out, should be in your box or your bag. So this one, you're gonna to to make sure it has this connection that go into the, uh, the ray link and then you're gonna go from the serial to USB. In the past, I know we've connected to the serial, but for some reason, I, we have not had luck with that. It's been better luck with having, using just USB. You're gonna, host the, you're gonna hook the host USB into either port. It doesn't matter which one. We have our, when we are setting up our host, the plug-in, we make sure we have the cord plugged in. We also make, wanna make sure we have power plugged into this, into the wall. If, for, if this is not plugged into power, it will not work as a host. If this, you know, if your Raylink is not in host, what you can do is go into the menu. It's the same buttons as the lights, the power and no you're gonna have a few menu choices to pop up. Network ID change, we never wanna change that. We wanna make sure it's set to 69. This is where you can change the mode. It says operating mode, OP mode, host. You wanna make sure that's in host. And if you wanna change it, you hit yes, and it'll pop up with three options of repeater, repeater, remote, or host. We just wanna hit yes, and we're in host. Once you do that, hit the power button, and it's initialized, you're in host. So we're going to check that when we come in, we're going to check our monitors and we're going to get, cycle through the menus. And once we cycle through the menus, we're going to make sure we get to, let's see, here we go, the ISM menu. We want to check the network ID to make sure it's 69. We also want to make sure our uh, channel was good, which is 10. And that's it. And then this one, it's the same, smaller, go through. wireless make sure our channel is set to so once we do that we'll start up our program once we get the program started uh, the first step we're going to do is go to data sources so once we come into this program this is the menu you're more than likely going to see it's either going to say start or stop this one says start so if it says if it says stop, we're gonna immediately stop it. It's gonna ask for your password. When it wants to ask for your password, it's always gonna be whatever is on here on the bottom of your computer. All of ours is, ours is station 22, station 22, eights has a different one. It should tell you right here on the bottom of the laptop. So once you type in your password, when you're logged in, you're gonna come up to the serial port. Whenever you have this plugged in, ours on station 22 is gonna be four or five. Eights, I think it's six or seven, but we're never going to choose one. We're always going to choose COM port, whichever the bottom one is. Once you do that, we'll hit. Like I said, ours already said, ours said start. So we have to type in our password now. So now that we have our Raylink, we have the system running, we have the Raylink connected to the computer. Our next step is we're going to go to remote unit, sleep, and wake up. So all of our monitors have a unit ID, which was in the menus I showed before. Right there, this unit ID is 20. On the old ones, we have them on the top. This one's two. Once you do that, the R's are already starting to auto-populate. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. It's always just a good habit to come in here and try to wake them up. So we're gonna select the unit, which this one's 20. And then we're gonna wake unit up. I've already, it's already been awake, but it will wake it up. And then the screen will flash when you need to wake up. We can also send messages through this, as long as you highlight which unit you want and you can type a message and send it to it, it will pop up. So once you have all of your units awake or whichever ones you want, we can exit out of this program. And now it should show you on your map where all of your monitors are. To get the multi-ray lights, it's a little different. What we're gonna do, if they're not popping up immediately, you're gonna go over into the menu. We're gonna go to the wireless menu. 
we're going to scroll to more more and then we've got to go to the ping menu we're going to try to ping this and once you hit the ping it should say sent and received as long as it's one and one it may take a minute for it to pop up but it should pop up and communicate to the computer after that as long as our channels everything are set right it should talk they're yeah. both already popular okay. so a lot of common problems with these that we're having is someone uh if it got changed out of host we always like i said we want to make sure that this unit is always in host and we've also noticed the problem that this has to be plugged into power every time if you're going to be in host um, and a wall into a wall power source it will not be a host if it's not and then these a lot of problems we've been seeing that we've had is if these get factory reset they're going to be they change channels into channel six and we want to make sure that these are set in channel 10 all mon all of the monitors are set to channel 10 to communicate with the computer and with the host so and you can go into the menus and change that through Our codes are always 1000. If it's been factory reset, it's all zeros. So we're gonna go over to wireless. We're gonna scroll down to channel and you wanna make sure our channel is set to 10. If you wanna change it, you can always just hit select. It'll change the channel and then hit done. Uh, the area ray pluses are the exact same as the lights. <laughs> Call station 22 C ship if you got any questions about setting up the area arrays and uh, talking to the little computer. We can try to help you out as much as we can. We're making hazmat great again. Yeah!